and your outlet calendar, you're going to be able to have uh, some different types of items that will show up there. Appointments, obviously, is one of those. Events, meetings, and tasks. All of that kind of stuff can show up on your calendar. Now, Outlook will allow you to receive reminders if you've got you know something planned. Uh, maybe you got a 3 o'clock appointment. You can tell Outlook, I want you to remind me an hour before this appointment so I'll have time to prepare and, you know, if I have to travel there or whatever. Uh, but Outlook does have to be opened in order for you to get that reminder. So that's one caveat there. You have to make sure that you've got Outlook up and running if you want to take advantage of those reminders. Now, we're going to be dealing in the next few videos with setting up these different things like creating appointments, creating meetings, uh, and also scheduling tasks to be completed at a specific time. But before we do that, I want to go over just a couple of options for the calendar that pertain to something I mentioned previously here about the times that we're going to be working and our availability. So we're going to go up to Tools, down to Options, and then to Calendar Options. This is on the Preferences tab. We're going to go to Calendar Options. And here's where you check what your work week is. You might, for example, get Mondays off and you work on Saturday. Or you might have one of those really odd schedules where you work four tens, anything like that. Okay, so you're specifying with a check mark the days that you typically work. If you'd rather have your week start with Monday, or any other day for that matter, you can select that here. So now we're going Monday through Sunday. And your times. Let's say that I work from 7 a.m to 5 30 p.m. or maybe I get off at 4 any of that kind of stuff so you can set your hours there one thing that can also be helpful is selecting the time zone here you want to make sure that that is accurate because if you're dealing with people in different time zones uh, and also like let's say for example uh, you deal with somebody in California and you live like I do in Ohio I want to show a different time zone at the same time. Let's go ahead and grab uh, Pacific. Where would that be? Right there. And this allows you to actually see an additional time zone because if we click OK here and I'll click OK again and before we move on I'll just mention here the default reminder time. You can set that here. So if you don't like 15 minutes set it to like half an hour and that way Whenever you schedule an event, which you'll see here in just a little bit, uh, there's going to be a default reminder time pop up. And this is where you can set that default to whatever you want. I'm going to leave it set to 30 minutes for right now. We'll click OK. And notice what happened here to my calendar. It is now showing me Pacific time as well as my local time. And that might be a good idea, you know, if you're dealing with somebody in a different time zone pretty regularly, um, just to kind of help you schedule things. But... I'm going to go back and go to options again. That way, you know, you can tell them, yeah, uh, let's do it at 3 o'clock my time and 12 o'clock your time, and you'll sound real, you know, professional. <laughs> Plus, you won't try to schedule it. One thing that I run into a lot is trying to get together with people in different time zones, and you have to take into account that they're either sleeping or, you know, maybe they're going to be out to lunch at that time and makes scheduling sometimes a little bit tricky. But those are the options that we need to set. You'll notice now I've set my time from 8 to 4, so the shading has changed. And now, actually, yeah, I set it to 7 to 4. So the shading has changed. Everything is shaded out. That's supposed to be time when I'm not working. And then the uh, white is my regular work hours. In our next video, what we're going to start with is creating appointments.